y'all, I'm Elisa and I am the scrappy wife behind scrappywife.com and today I have an art journaling process for you. I want to show you how I'm going to complete an art journal page that was a test page for me. I did this page when I was testing out new Distress Oxide sprays which are super fun, but it's kind of incomplete. It was just a test page. I did some splatters of gold paint and, and called it a day. So I'm gonna use some supplies to kind of finish this page, give it a more finished look. And then I think I may end up doing another art journal page, starting fresh and covering up some of the bleed through that came from one of my last pages. So I will put you guys on fast forward. We will get going and see what happens. All right, I'm gonna start with this Jane Davenport page from her paper pad that's available at Michael's, and you'll see me fussy cutting out this woman. I love this paper pad. I don't often use it for scrapbooking, but I use it all the time in my art journal. The pages are just so inspirational. They're easy to help you get an art journal page started, or in this case, help get one finished. And I just think the images are beautiful. I've used them in my craft room, I've used them in my art journaling, I've used them in my Bible even, and I just love the artwork in this paper pad. So you'll see that um, I finished fussy cutting her out. She's a really large um, girl for this page. I decide where I want to put her. She's going to go over the binding in the middle, so I'm going to have to figure out how to make that work. I pull out my glue and then decide to adhere her down. The original plan was to do two art journal pages, but as I got to work on this one, I was really into it. I got into the flow. I was really loving this one, and it ended up taking me a little bit longer than I anticipated, so I only got one page done, but I don't regret it because I'm so pleased with how the page comes out. After she's adhered down, I'm going to use this Tim Holtz tool. This is supposed to be a distressing tool, I believe, and it's like this blade on a roller. But for me, it's helping kind of score where that piece of paper goes over the binding and makes it so it doesn't get messed up as I um, move the page. Trimming off the excess here and getting ready for the next step. Now I'm gonna use this Dilutions black paint and a stencil, but I don't know what has happened to my paint. I don't know if you could see, but it was kind of glumpy. It wasn't dried out, it was just kind of I don't know, something weird happened to it. Maybe maybe it is dried out, maybe it's too old. I don't feel like it was that old. But I think I perhaps need some new black paint. I usually love the Dilutions paint. I love how thin it is for art journaling, how quickly and easily it goes on. You'll see me, I'm dabbing through the stencil using a sponge brush and making sure I just have barely any paint on the brush. That's the tip for working through the stencil so it doesn't bleed through. Now, I'm being a little bit of a rebel. I'm not washing off my stencil in between, but instead just moving it to a cleaner part of the stencil and working here on the left side of the page. You'll see me the same dabbing technique and skipping ahead so you don't have to watch me dab forever. Adding a few more of these arrows and then lastly, I'll do it on the bottom here. Same technique, very, very little paint. That's the way to get a crisper line through these stencils when you're putting on paint. So after I did those few arrows at the bottom, I immediately regretted it. I just, it looks kind of funky down there. Just, I didn't like how it looked. Instead, I'm going to take some of this flower tissue paper. You'll see me use this in several craft projects. This is a tissue paper that I get from a company called By the Well for God, and it's not that I order the tissue paper. I order other things, and this is the tissue paper they wrap all of their orders in and I am obsessed. I love, love, love it. So I'm fussy cutting out a part of this tissue paper and I'm going to use the Liquitex Matte Gel Medium to put it on my page and kind of cover up those arrows. In the end, the colors come through the tissue paper, but I'm okay with that. It makes it look a little less harsh on the page and I end up liking what I have to work with at that point. Using my paintbrush to smooth it out as much as possible. It's not gonna be perfect because it is tissue paper, it has wrinkles, but you can see it how the color is gonna start coming through um, as I smooth it out and get good coverage. In the end, I also take a little bit of that Liquitex and go over the edges of my lady there to really make sure all of those edges are down nice and secure.
once the medium is thoroughly dry, I decide what this lady needs is a little bit of a spark, some metallic. So I pull out these Jane Davenport metallic acrylic paints. And I like them because they're not sparkle sparkle. It is a true metal kind of color. I'm going to pull them all out and I'm going to add some metallic accents on those flowers. And every time I add a color to the flowers, then I'm also going to pull that color over onto my lady. Sometimes I add it to her hat, sometimes I use some of the wisps in her hair, adding some more color, and I like that it makes her look more like part of the page. It customizes her to something that I am contributing to and creating instead of just cutting her out and pasting her in my art journal. It, it lets, me, um, lets me work with her a little bit more, but I didn't have to do all of the drawing myself. It just lets me be creative and add those metal accents like I like. working with acrylic paint in my art journal because it dries so fast and I'm pretty impatient when it comes to drying. So I, I really like working with it. The Jane Davenport line has a great variety of colors so I've been collecting them plus I just like the beautiful um, packaging they come in. It's very um, inspiring and it when I just look at the paints it kind of sparks creativity which is something I think is important for art products. When I'm done with the acrylic paint, I decide to add some more detail to this arrow 
motif that I have going on. And I start with a glitter paint pen and I'm going to completely cover some of these black area arrows with the glitter paint. You'll see me working on the left side and on the right. I also add a few glitter accents to the flowers as well. Next, I am using a gold jelly roll pen and adding an outline to some of the arrows. This one is very faint and hard to see on the video, but it does glisten really nicely in person. And again, I will add a few details to the arrows and to the flowers as well so that the whole look is cohesive. The last pen I opt for is the white Uniball Signo gel pen, which works fantastic over acrylic paint and in art journals. I use mine all the time. I actually have two on hand at most times just in case. And I'm adding a dashed line to the remaining arrows and you'll see me add some white again to the flowers and a little bit to my lady over there on the right. All of these elements, when you repeat them throughout the page, really brings them together. And since I used elements that I didn't actually create, it helps customize it and make it my own. My last step for this art journal page will be to add a title and I'm going to add the title Go Your Own Way. And I'm not particularly worried about my handwriting. It's not the best brush lettering that's ever happened in the world, but it's okay. It's my lettering and I will take it. I add my title, add a little bit more thickness and detail to it and then come back with a white, that same white gel pen, the Signo gel pen to add a bit of a highlight to make the title pop just a bit more. And with that, this art journal page is done. Like I said, I had a fantastic time working on this, kind of got lost in the journaling, which is exactly what you hope for. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Otherwise, I hope you have an awesome day and as always, keep it creative.